Hello again. I just wanted to do a little video on this wind up portable gramophone that I bought at a local antique shop. Now, it's in reasonably good condition. I saw it in the window open like this. The uh, badge there's nice, the inside's nice, the little um, needle pot there is nice, and I think original. The badge on the case, the needle tin, and the sound box are all marked Antoria, which is not a brand I'd ever heard of, but apparently they were one of the smaller manufacturers which made uh, cheaper models to compete with the likes of HMV. The blue covering seems to be original on the inside, but um, having looked very carefully, I'm pretty sure it's been covered on the outside, or recovered on the outside, and it's pretty good, but I think there was a, an embossed pattern on the original one that's uh, being lost when it's been recovered. The metal finish inside is a bit tarnished and needs a good clean. The sound box is in quite good condition. And the speed selector down here and the brake are also not too bad. Although I did have to tighten the screws on the brake to get it to work properly. So I'm going to open it up so you can see what's inside it, which isn't very much really. It's quite easy on this one. There's just a screw there, a couple of screws there, a screw there, and I think two screws up there. The uh, the clip for the tone arm also has some screws holding that in position and they needed to be loosened too. And I've removed the little clip from the turntable so it's possible to, to pull that off quite easily now. Like so. The finish on the edge of the turntables, not that great. So, um, all in all, not too bad. Classic case of looking better at first sight than it does when you look at it carefully after getting it home. But I didn't pay too much money for it, so I'm quite happy with it really. I'll demonstrate it playing as well a little bit later in the video. Um, it's okay. Um, but um, I think the sound box needs a little bit of work because it's a bit tinny. Right, I've removed the screws holding the motorboard in place and also the platter and also the cranking handle. I've also loosened the screws on the tone arm holder as they also seem to hold it in place a bit. So if I lift it out now, you'll see what's inside. Right, very little as you can see. There's not even really a horn, just this piece of metal here that reflects the sound from the tone arm back out again. The motor is a number 20 Garrard. Seems in reasonable condition. It's difficult to say whether it's been serviced or not, but it's certainly not all gummed up. The wood is in amazingly good condition. I mean, it's cheap, nasty pine, but it's amazing to think that this is about 80 years old and it just looks like it was made yesterday. There we go, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. Archie's stuff.